I think I found it, the ultimate view. Under the power lines, we can... Well, I'm not the only one here, apparently. She's also admiring the view. Hinchao. How are you? Are you admiring the view? Beautiful. Oh, check out this place, guys. I must say this... <laughs> well... I can't blame the locals for wanting electricity up here, but wow. Is this it? Is this the ultimate lookout? I think it is. I think it is. I also think it's going to be my thumbnail. It's always been my dream to wander around in these tiered rice fields, but I don't really fancy running down there and then walking back up. Let's see how far down it is. Well, there's that truck. He's passed me again. But who cares when you're looking at this? Let's hope nobody discovers that my motorbike is keyless, meaning you can actually just turn that switch and drive off and then I am on the hook for four thousand dollars oh there's some dude down here who used it as a as the bathroom whereas I'm going down here to to check out the view Xin chào. Good thing that he finished his uh, business because I saw he actually pulled up his pants behind that bush there. <laughs> Good thing he finished his business before I came with, uh, with the camera. Oh yes. Oh yes. You know I have to. You know I have to. The ultimate lookout. This is one of the absolute coolest things I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm gonna have to do a, a classic, am I filming? Yes, I am. We're 3.30 in. Whoa, yes, the ultimate selfie location. The ultimate selfie location. I see you. You see me. You know we are a match made in heaven. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, baby. Wow. How solid are these things? Fairly solid, it seems. I don't think I've ever seen a better view than this anywhere. I'm gonna do some iPhone footage too, so that in case this wide-angle lens doesn't do this any justice, then we have wide-angle footage so you can truly see what it is like here in these hills. Whoa, fuck, close, close. All right, iPhone to the rescue.
it's hard to imagine that you can find a view better than this. And it may not be possible, but I'm gonna try. All right, my friends, we got the footage that we came from. Now it's time to backtrack because it's not the steadiest rocks I'm standing on here. It's kind of, it's actually really hard to walk on them because you can't get a, you can't get a grip. That's why I nearly tumbled when I walked up. But okay, back to safety, back to the motorbike. So how did I end up here? This morning I looked, uh, I plotted in five markets. I drove to the closest one from that Chinese border town that I can never remember the name of, Chai Lin or something like that. I went to the first market, made a little video, then went to a second city and market, another hour from there, but the market looked too similar to the one I just went to. And I thought, let's go further. Let's just drive up to the, uh, that road along the Chinese border, which is this one, and then see what's there without really knowing. I mean, I was obviously hoping to run into something like this. And I did. So, a uh, good call. <laughs> In the last city, I actually did stop even to ask at the hotel, but uh, for the price and so on. I ended up just thinking, no, it's early, you had a good breakfast. Well, I had some good food at that market. So I figured I have another six hours of touring and riding in me today. So it, might, it may not sound like it now, but yes, I have probably another eight hours in me today. Just one, just one last time, just let me look. I probably have that view for you on film now, hopefully. If not, you're just gonna have to come here yourself. It's highly, it was worth the, the grueling. Must well, have been three days on the bike now. Only been a couple of hours today though, so. Oh, here's my friends again. Beautiful, okay. amazing. Careful. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on. I don't know why I said thank you, but I just feel... One trick. People, some of you say I'm turning into the yes, yes man. Yes, yes, Burundi, that's true. There's a skill to behaving and communicating with people who don't speak your language, depending on the situation, depending on which country you are in and so on. And at least here in Vietnam, just repeating the, f the few reassuring words that the locals do know, like yes, or bye-bye, or just like the only Vietnamese word I know, which is gam un. It just, it just, uh, I don't know, it kind of, kind of disarms the situation because they're obviously a bit worried when it comes to, you know, why is this albino ghost with a Santa Claus here walking around with a, with a stick? Ooh, what was that? Something stung me. Yeah, so that's why. The yes, yes man is onto something. I mean, he was able to stalk me for half an hour, right? Simply by saying yes, yes. So, don't take the yes man for a fool. Signing off. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good to see the locals too come here to check out the view. I'm just gonna uh, selfie drive for a little bit and then we see if it gets even. This is the problem and this is the limitations of filming. 
I stopped a couple of times already. I don't even. I don't know if you, I'm showing that footage to you guys or not. I mean, if this is the first footage you see, I stopped at least two times prior to this, already in awe at the view and just going, wow, look at this, this is what I came for. And then the further up this mountain I go, the better it gets. Is it possible to beat that? Probably not. But we'll see. Always and forever you and me That's the way that life should be I don't know how to live without your love I was born to make you happy oh. Wow, this looks interesting Oh, there's another one over there. If not, we, we can go back. They're pulling something up. They're pulling these logs up up the mountain here. Bye. They have found a very innovative way to pull logs up the mountain here, I could see. It looked like a motorbike without the wheels. Right here. How cool is that? I should wear the helmet if I'm gonna drive the motorbike. I guess they pull these logs up with the help of the motorbike engine. Over there you can see many more. What a cool bike. Rinjin, king of the castle, king of the castle, I have a chair. Rinjin! All right, enough. Enough labor for one day. The laborers who use this motorbike, I see them, they're sleeping under this tent over there. I don't feel like waking them up to illustrate, but it would have been hell cool to see this in action. It's at least one guy sleeping in that tent right there. Oh, they're selling some treasures here. Maybe I should stop and uh, see if they have a, a drink or something. Ah. Hello. Hello. Do you have drinks? <laughs> All right. Pit stop. Drink. I should learn how to say drink in uh, in uh, Vietnamese. We'll see how this works out. Let's put the bag here. Okay. Hello there. Yes. I would like a drink like that one. Is that the famous, the famous Wonder Farm? One. Wow. Yes. Vietnam Dong. Vietnam Dong, yes. yes. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 10. Perfect. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. The Wonder Farm. Yes. Okay, one. Thank you very much.
What are you making here? A belt? <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Can I have a look at what you're making? Oh, it's a... Uh, okay, one. This one. What, is this for eating? For eating? Is this for eating? No, no, just one, just one, just one, only one, only one. Only one. Just one. For eat? <laughs> oh, maybe it's a bit more. How much? Maybe I have to pay more, maybe that's it. <laughs> uh, let's drink this and let them deal with it. It's okay, keep it, keep it. For you. For you. For you. Thank you very much. How do I eat this? Like this? <laughs> Seems to me like something that has to be prepared. Oh, with a knife. Oh, can you? Let me see here. Ah, oh, here we go. She has to peel it open first. <coughs> Let's have some more Wonder Farm. Where do you want me to put this? Here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, just here? Yes. Oh wow, this is your bag? Let me try here. Whoa. <laughs> this is how they walk around. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, I go down. Oh. Don't know why there's all this trash here, it's a bit sad. I guess they carry their fruits and so on in this one. All right, thank you so much. And now I can eat it? Like this? No, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> it's okay. It's nice. Thank you. Come on. It's like a... A pear. Is the best description I can give. This one. Oh, it's for scotch. A nice pattern. Reminds me of the. the cross. Very nice. Okay, guys, it's been emotional. Come on. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm trying to per oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm trying to perfect not overstaying my welcome. It's not easy sometimes because sometimes you linger around and then funny things happen. They bring out the pipe or they give you some food or they start laughing or some relative shows up. I'm going to enjoy the apple. Be on my way. Hell investigates abandoned house. I hope there's nobody around because I'm kind of going to be violating property but the house actually looks abandoned. I don't see anyone here. Meaning I don't think anyone will bother. Ah, they're still practicing slash and burn here. Ah. That's where I came from, behind that mountain, 
and then down on this road. And then we're going down. No, we're going up there. But first. Ah, okay, I see now. Just um, used for animals. I thought somebody might actually be crashing here, but this is clearly where they keep the cows at night. Makes for a cozy little cabin though. I guess the people live up there. I said before that the trees here remind me of Norway, European trees. Another thing that reminds me of Scandinavia, or Norway specifically, is these cowbells. It's quite nice to listen to. Don't worry cows, I had about two kilos of you in Florence, still full, it's gonna be a while. I'm at a pivotal part of my journey, you can see here, absolutely no cell service. And the road just turned to uh, very, very bad, very, very bad. So I have a decision to make. Uh, am I on the right path or not? I think I'm just gonna gamble and pretend that I am because it's so scenic. I don't mind kind of trekking around here even if the roads are bad, so. Yeah, I don't mind. This is already one of the best journeys I've had on the bike. Looking forward to the next five hours. Ah, oh, they're making a new road. I hope I can pass here, it says Kong Truong Dang Ti Kong Five kilometers an hour Whatever he's trying to do, it looks pretty hard I guess we just have to stand here and wait and see Okay, the truck just passed me, waved, goodbye And now we'll see if I can drive here It's okay? Can go on? I guess so. This is a first. Hello there. Bye-bye! And already here, we have better roads. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye, watch out! I don't wanna keep, bye-bye! Bye-bye, I don't wanna hit anyone. <laughs> hey, watch out! <laughs> Hello! Dangerous! Wow, you, you can be an Olympic runner when you grow up. Watch out, I'm gonna speed up. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I hope he's not holding on because I'm gonna. Uh, I was worried there if I speed up that he falls. This is proper hill tribe community. Hello. Oh no, no more, more runners. I guess they're so happy to see an albino up here. Can they see that I'm an albino under the helmet? I guess they can. A 
This is the type of house that Harold shall investigate. A true hill tribe hut, or yeah, I guess you can call it that, made from wood. What a fun road. Just have to watch out a little bit. If your brakes fail here, you kind of, you're toast. It's over. You're just gonna have to abort mid-air. Get off the bike. I now understand why. Ah, oh, that's the bikes of the, uh, the uh, rice farmers down there. I now understand why this journey is a six hour journey. Despite the fact that it's only something like 150 kilometers, something like that. Because you can never really go very fast. And it's down one mountain, up another. Down a mountain, and up yet another. Hello! He looks like he's seen a ghost. Which is probably what his family is going to tell him when he tries to relay that he did see someone with an albino complexion yell at him in the mountain today. I'm pretty sure too that the people that live here, they don't find this particularly spectacular because they're so used to it. My whole life I dreamt about seeing these tiered rice fields. What is he honking at me for? Kinda vlogger just selfie drive down the hill here? No, he was uh, honking because he was going around the bend.